morning in this we will study about solid state physics or solid state chemistry again this subject is uh, common for uh, physics major and the chemistry major let us uh, discuss today uh, mainly the relation between a and r edge length or unit cell length and the radius of the atom radius of the atom this is very very important the relation between the edge length unit cell length and the radius of the atom for example uh, it will be asked in many uh, competitive exam questions uh, based on uh, the radius and the relation okay so we need to understand uh, the concept otherwise if we memorize the formula then it will not work unless you understand then only we can solve the various problems uh, by applying the theory Okay, now we will be calculating packing efficiency, void fraction, packing fraction, void fraction, uh, density of the unit cell. Okay, let us now first um, come to simple cubic lattice. For example, for cubic lattice, there are three types of uh, there are three types of uh, lattices: cubic lattices, uh, Bravais lattices. That is uh, a simple cubic lattice. Face centered cubic lattice, body centered cubic lattice. Okay, now first uh, you, uh, let us come to simple cubic lattice. It consists of atoms at the corners of the cube. Okay, it can, it, uh, the atoms are present at the corners of the cube. Okay, now therefore, if you look in, in order to understand solid state physics or solid state chemistry, you need to have some imagination or you need to uh, think a uh, little bit. Uh, uh, you cannot simply apply uh, the formula and uh, uh, you cannot expect the answer. So let us imagine, for example, you have a cube, this kind of cube. In, in solid state, there will be long range, whereas in amorphous solid, in amorphous solid, it is, it is short range order will be there, whereas in solid state, there will be long range order. So you will have cubes uh, above, uh, it will be extending in three dimensions in all the directions. So this Corner, the atom at the corner is shared by eight other cubes. Is shared by how many cubes? Eight other cubes. Therefore, there are eight uh, atoms at the corners of the simple cubic unit cell. Into each atom contributes one by eight to one by eight only. Therefore, eight into one by eight will give you one. Therefore, number of atoms or molecules present in the simple cubic unit cell is one. Now, what is the for example, let us place an uh, atom. Okay, I have shown here there are two atoms. They, these are nearest neighbors, nearest neighbors touching each other. As you see, uh, in simple cubic like this, the nearest neighbors touching each other. Therefore, this distance AB, what is this distance AB equal to A? AB, the unit cell length is A. Okay, the unit cell length is A. Therefore, A equal to 2R. 2R. Therefore, R equal to A by 2. This relation is very, very important. For example, when you solve the density uh, of unit cell or other problems, it will be required. Okay, now packing efficiency. What do you mean by packing efficiency? It is given by volume of the unit cell. Volume of the unit cell is A cube because A into A into volume of Q equal to length into breadth into uh, height. Therefore, A, A. Here, all the, uh, in the case of cubic unit cell, uh, length equal to A, breadth equal to A, height equal to A, therefore A cube, volume of the cube unit cell is A cube. And the number of units, uh, number of atoms, Z, number of atoms into volume of atoms. So for example, here you have only one in the overall unit cell, although you have eight, its contribution to its unit cell is one only. Therefore, one into volume of the atom or molecule, volume of the atom, one into volume of the atom or molecule, that is 1 into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by a cube. A cube, a cube is nothing but 2r. Therefore, uh, 4 by 3 pi r cube, volume of the uh, atom, volume of the sphere, assuming the atom, uh, atom or molecule sphere. Therefore, 4 by 4 by 3 pi r cube into 2r, a equal to 2r, 2r cube. If you calculate, the packing fraction is 52.4. Therefore, if, if the if the atoms are packed, uh, it occupies 52.4 percent. 
the atoms occupy the atoms or molecules occupy the unit cell 52.4 then void how much will be the void fraction therefore you can calculate 100 minus 52.4 or if it is a fraction 1 minus 0.52 that will be 0.48 or 48 percent is 48 percent is vacant vacant space in the unit cell okay now let us come to phase center cubic unit cell okay this is uh, this is nothing but the cubic uh, close to backing or hexagonal close to backing, both uh, cubic close to backing and uh, hexagonal close to backing, uh, that is uh, phase center cubic lattice, uh, the same packing efficiency, that is 74%. Let us now um, apply it. Similarly, let us draw a uh, cube, okay, let us draw a cube and uh, place on uh, lattice point at the corners as well as phase center, okay. In the, in the case of phase centered cubic lattice, in the, the name itself, phase centered cubic lattice, the atoms are present at the phase centers as well as at the corners. Therefore, number of atoms, let us calculate first number of atoms, number of molecules. It is represented by Z. Z equal to 8 into 1 by 8 because each, as I said, uh, any atom at the corner belongs to 8 other cubes. Therefore, its contribution is 8 into 1 by 8 plus. Uh, similarly, a phase center. Phase center. Each phase is uh, corresponding uh, uh, belongs to two unit cell. Two unit cell. Therefore, six into one by two. Therefore, one plus three. There are four uh, atoms or molecules in the unit cell. Therefore, is equal to four. Okay. Now let us uh, see uh, how the atoms are arranged. How the atoms are arranged. For example, I have shown here one atom here. Okay, and another atom in the here. At the phase center, this is at the corner, another at the phase center. So it, they will form the nearest neighbor. They form the nearest neighbor. Now, if you consider, I, I will label this A, this point as A, and this is B, and this is C. So you have a triangle now, a right angle triangle. You have a right angle triangle. Therefore, you know this length, okay, this is the uh, unit cell length, and this is again unit cell length. This length you don't know. Therefore, using Pythagoras theorem, you can apply the formula. We don't know the P, B, C square. C, C square equal to, C, C square equal to, you know this A. A, B square plus uh, A, C square. Okay, therefore, this is nothing but 1 or 2 or uh, 2 or 2 or 3 or 4 or. Therefore, 4 or 4 or square equal to A square plus A square. Therefore, a square equal to 8 R square. A square equal to uh, sorry, sorry uh, 16. You come here 16. R square equal to 2 A square. Therefore, A square equal to 8 R square. Therefore, A. This is a very, very important relation. For example, to calculate several formulas. So, you need to understand how it is arrived so that you can solve many problems. Okay, now R equal to. Similarly, once you get uh, in terms of R, suppose they will give the radius of the atom, the radius of the molecule, radius of the atom. From the radius of the atom, you can calculate the A. For density calculation, you need A. You, you, you will not be given a A, but you will be given R. From the R, you can calculate A. Therefore, you can calculate the density of the unit cell. We will come back again. So, 4 into uh, packing efficiency equal to 4 atoms are there. In this 4 atoms, there are 4 atoms. 4 into uh, volume of each atom. Volume of each atom 4 by 3 by R cube divided by A cube. A cube that is A equal to we have calculated, we have derived it equal to 2 into square root of 2 R. Therefore, if you calculate the packing efficiency is the highest. Okay. For phase center cubic lattice has the highest packing efficiency. Therefore, we can calculate the void of the void fraction will be 0 0.26 only. So uh, most of the uh, most of the unit cell is occupied by the atom. Only few, uh, only vacant space is very less. Okay, let us now uh, come to body centered cubic lattice. In the body centered cubic lattice, uh, for example, cesium chloride. Cesium chloride is a very good example of, for example, so, uh, sodium chloride is a very good example of phase uh, centered cubic lattice. You have studied. Okay, now body centered cubic lattice. In the body centered cubic lattice, there are atoms at the body center and at the corners. Okay, in body centered cubic lattice, there are, you draw a cube, first you draw a cube, like this, like this, and uh, 
okay? and there are base atoms at the corners and at the body center, at the center of the cube, at the center of the cube. Now, let us take this one, okay, this, uh, this you draw here, atom here and this you draw here atom here and then and this will be like this okay body diagonal this will be not a face this is face diagonal this is body diagonal okay now if you can't if you want to calculate this first you know this a this uh, for example this you know a but you don't know the face diagonal face diagonal is this much okay therefore this distance you don't know but this distance and this distance you know here, for example, this distance is A and this distance is A. I have shown here B, B, C. Okay, this triangle. I take out this triangle. This is a right angle triangle. Actually, this is a right angle triangle. Therefore, A, this is A, AB is A and BC is A. Therefore, BC can be calculated using Pythagoras we have. But that is, uh, what is uh, BC square equal to uh, BB square plus uh, bc square, therefore a square plus a square, therefore square root, if you take square root, then bc, okay, therefore square root, sorry, a square, 2 a square, uh, you come 2 a square, or take the square root, square root of a, okay, bc equal to square root of a, once we know this, then this triangle is again, uh, this triangle, this, uh, what is that, a, a, b, c, let us take ABC triangle. It is again uh, so AB this distance AB square like similarly BC square AB square equal to BC square and AC square. AC square distance is A. You know that A square and BC square you calculate it. BC square is equal to square root of two A square. So AB equal to the, the closest uh, neighbor. Achieve neighbors. Therefore, this will be 4 r square. Therefore, equal to you can calculate and uh, you, you can find out 3 a square, 16 r square equal to 3 a square. Therefore, r square equal to this much, a equal to this much. This is very, very important. This relation is very, very important. This gives the relation between a and the r. Okay, how the from the radius, so from the radius of the atom, you can calculate the uh, you can calculate the unit cell, unit cell length, unit cell length. Similarly, in fact, in a frequency, you can calculate how many atoms are supposed to be in body center, it be like this. As I said, uh, any atom at the body center, center of the cube, will belong to itself only. Therefore, 1 contribution, therefore 2, and therefore 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube into pi r cube, okay, pi r cube divided by divided by 4 or 4 or q 4 or x uh, this is um, 4 or what is uh, yeah i have 4 or q a q 4 4 or 4 or divided by square root uh, uh, square root of 3 and therefore i have taken 4 or q and uh, uh, square root of 3 cube uh, i have taken Above, therefore, the packing efficiency is 68%. Why fraction will be? What is the y fraction then? Y fraction will be 32%. Y fraction will be 32%. Okay, now let us now come to an important part the density of the unit cell. Okay, how the density of the unit cell? In our research, we have prepared several crystals. For example, in our research, we have prepared uh, metal complexes and prepared crystals, synthetic crystals, and we have determined the density. We have determined the density by flow, uh, flow, uh, sorry, uh, flotation method. Flotation method. For example, if you uh, if you you, uh, you are a, you have prepared a new crystal, you put it into water. If it flow, if it's uh, settle at the bottom, then the density of water is the density of the crystal is more then if you put it in CCL4 if it floats or if you take two mixtures then you can calculate the uh, 1 is to 1, 1 is to 3 you can mix two solvents of different density then you can find the density of the for example the density of the crystal can be calculated experimentally you can density equal to mass of the unit cell divided by mass of the unit cell divided by volume of the unit cell volume of the unit cell you know that a cube Okay, mass of the unit cell, what is, how do you calculate the mass of the unit cell? Mass of the unit cell is nothing but, 
for example, molar mass, you know the molar mass of any, uh, any substance, any, any compound. Therefore, molar mass divided by N0, molar mass divided by N0 will give you the uh, mass of the single atom, mass of the single atom, atomic mass divided by Avogadro number in the atomic mass or molecular mass of the single molecule. Therefore, in the unit cell, there are two atoms. For example, in the case of simple cubic that is two. Therefore, Z, Z into M by N0 divided by A cube. Okay, this is the density formula. Using this formula, there are several questions asked. For example, you can calculate you are given density, uh, you are given BCC and uh, you are uh, you given them you know you said you can uh, you, you are given the radius of the atom for example instead of uh, you are given the radius of the atom for bcc radius of the atom is given that you can calculate this uh, a equal to how much okay so a can be calculated so similarly you can you will be asked um, what is the type of lattice bcc by, by, uh, from z value if you calculate z value if z value is 1 then it is simple to be lattice for example, you are given density. So, several problems as to based on this, uh, unless you understand the formula, how these, uh, how these are obtained. Okay, you are having how these are obtained, how there are two triangles. First, you need to obtain as I showed here. Please understand. And then, if you are able to understand, you will be able to solve uh, all the problems as in solid state chemistry. Thank you for watching.